Hey everybody, welcome back. Uh, now this second part to the 30 amazing tips to help you guys get better. Uh, I hope you guys like the first part and let's get on with this one. Before we start, make sure to uh, give us a subscribe if you like these videos and if they helps you a little bit. And leave any comments or any questions you have down below. So let's get on with it. Tip number 15. Now this is a very important one. So whenever you basically uh, claim your vitality or whenever it's ready so right now we're at launch vitality okay and oh my god it's going so slow let's claim that and now we're gonna do a little bit of uh, elite instances and what this is gonna give you after maybe 12 elite instances or 10 or maybe 20 normal stage battles that will unlock the uh, mystery shop there we go this this because I did some earlier that's why the mystery shop is available so this like it's available so fast now it's very important that you keep this in mind because this is 80% off like I got two here 80% off and you want to take the most advantage you can of this because right now it's 80% off and when the next vitality kicks in for example dinner vitality when this kicks in, you know what that means? If you go back into elite stage battles or normal stage battles, after this is finished, after the time left is finished, and the next dinner vitality kicks in, this will reset the shop, and also the shop here as well. The mystery shop and the shop here, it will reset it. Which means you don't have to spend diamonds to reset it. And the best thing with Mystery Shop, you can get discounts, which is highly recommend you guys remember this tip, okay? If you have any questions about it, just ask down in the um, comments below. Now, what I'm trying to say is when it, it refreshes the shop here as well, it doesn't just refresh the grocery shop, the grocery store, but it uh, refreshes the fame shop, trial shop, guild shop. So then you can buy your shizzle, yeah? Okay, tip number 16. Now, on your friend list here on the top right, and you can see here my, on my click on your friend list, and you want to collect vitality. So, I'm gonna one click gift and one click claim. Now, on your top list here, you want to see where it says login. You want to make sure you have like active players because if you have like tw only 10 people that are active and the rest like literally active once a week then you're gonna get less vitality, okay? So you want as much vitality as you can from all of your friends. So you wanna go through your list and if you, if you see one that's like logged out, look, I've got one here 22 days ago. So you wanna click on that and delete friend. If you think it's coming back to play the game, then keep him, but 22 days ago is, there's no point keeping people that you don't, that don't play the game. When, when you can actually have, accept different friends I mean, even if you don't know them, you can help them out to send vitality to each other. So you scroll through them, for example, and, you know, delete the ones that are not active. I mean, d don't delete me, of course, if you... It's not like you're gonna find me inactive on there anyway, but... <laughs> Okay, so 16 days ago, look at this guy. Last login 16 days ago. Kinda of spoke to him a few times, but uh, yeah. Probably didn't like the game. And there we go. And then application here. Now you can see here who sent you a friend request. Now I don't really know any of these. Since I'm level 70, I actually want to go accept people that are my my level which kind of sucks let's go with Misa Watkins hello Misa if you're watching this konnichiwa sounds like a Japanese name my girlfriend's name is Misako <laughs> alright that's it I'll, I'll leave it like that for now uh, the next step 
so you want to save your time when you're trying to do the draw so you want to do the draw quickly and then you want to head off to the arena after the draw because of the uh, time reset so it takes 10 minutes to reset and you have to wait for this so you want to do these two together okay and you're gonna skip this is no point and I lost oh my god I lost and then while you're still waiting you can do here you can do something here while you're waiting okay so we finished and let's go back and now you have eight minutes left you can do whatever else you want to now don't forget to open this one as well <laughs> So you can spend your time with digital training right now, or you can do something else. Let's sell this. Whoa, nice. Tip number 18. Now into the Digimon Matrix, or Digimetal. Here, basically what you can do, now if you have enough Digimate, uh, Digimon Matrix, uh, this Matrix list, now what we can do is place all because I have enough already and I have all of these you can see here. So Brem, let's say for example Brem's Trach Lung Matrix. Okay, let's call it the <laughs> Brem's Trach Lung Matrix. Now if I click on place, now it will give me a matrix effect and it will give me a bonus. You know, you can see the bonus 160 attack, defense 100 points and HP 960 points. And on top is the alloy stats. Now if I click on this little icon here, It'll give, show me the rules and on top of that if I click on here on the right hand side on one of the matrix now here I can choose to upgrade now if I choose my strongest Digimon that have a gold matrix somewhere I've got purple one here where's the gold okay here we got a gold one here now the yellow one sorry not the gold so I've got a yellow uh, digit matrix here which is the highest quality so far and you can advance him and you can level up the digital matrix now if you keep in mind the attack of this matrix let's click on X so you can see the attack is 944 defense is 61 now let's click again and advance attack is gone up 710 now you can click on fast upgrade or just upgrade and this is going to cost you digi essence or metal essence should I say now you can keep upgrading this if you have enough uh, metal essence to get more metal essence what you can do is you can click on melt and here you can choose your um, digi matrix that you don't want and you can melt it for example this is always defense and HP if you melt one it's going to give you 10 metal essence if you melt two it's going to give you 20 but this is just uh, because it's gray now if I go with green it's gonna give you more just for melting one green is going to give you 30 uh, 40 sorry it's gonna give you 40 uh, dish, uh, metal essence okay let's confirm and we got 20 just for the two gray items and then you go to the middle here you can add more you can drag and drop or you can like or connect and you can click on place all to give you these things here like this but it's up to you and they all become new ones become available depending on your level and yeah don't forget to get your free stuff give me yellow 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 oh my god horrible uh, also uh, where are we let's go back here and what you want to do is when you go and place all, for example, when you have all of the items for, let's say, for Magnetic Force Matrix, click on place all, and this will become available, Matrix this. And if it's the first time you did this, you can claim your rewards, and it's gold, and it's um, metal essence. So let's claim that, or you can click on claim all to claim everything. So yeah, not bad. You can get your metal essence like this. Okay, now I'm just placing these randomly, so don't don't watch me <laughs> make sure you get what you want for your Digimon so you should have like attack attack for attack type Digimon or if you want a Digimon with attack type Digimon with high defense and obviously you can put defense metal alloys there tip number 19 now in the guild hall in the energy house here 
if you go on guild camp and go back to my camp now here if you slide to the left you have more options available you see now you can unlock more of these with spending diamonds which you can see that I already unlocked one here which I have time on and you can unlock another one if you spend more diamonds so you can confirm if you want and you can put another Digimon there to level him up okay and you can change them depending on which Digimon you want and I'm gonna go on random accelerate and this will give you gold also this is a very if you guys in my guild are watching this is a very important tip I would like you guys to watch is because for me I would like more people in the guild so in this case I wanted to donate to guild population increase what this is gonna do is gonna give us an extra person to join the guild so for example right now we have 39 and when this reaches to level 2 or level 1 after it completes the 120,000 points that it requires to level up then we're gonna have another person so that's gonna go up to 40 okay now I'm gonna go with diamond donation and a small little tip as well so you can see here I have um, I mean we have here gold donation diamond donation and king donation now the difference in the XP and uh, guild coins is kind of a lot I mean obviously it's a lot but then again king donation is 200 diamonds so if you have a lot of diamonds then you could do this but it's totally it's up to you so that's why I'm going for a diamond donation which is enough for the time being so that's technically that's like 500 di uh, guild coins in one day if I go with 30 diamonds per donation okay and also Chuckman Adventures once you go to level 2 don't really upgrade this anymore it's not really worth it because you spend so much time on it you should focus on the first thing in the guild donation you want to focus on red envelope on gold store it says your gold storage but what this is is a diamond one this diamond uh, envelope the gold storage is this one to the left so you should go first with diamond storage and the next one is the gold bonus one and after that when this becomes guild technology becomes available you should go with guild technology and whenever you guys are satisfied go for Dragnimon and of course the guild legion level like guild level of course don't forget that one too <laughs> tip number 20 and to me this is a very important tip what you want to do is when you go digital training you always want to skip obviously it's a time consuming if you do this one by one all over again but if you skip you will get your rewards and the best thing is you don't have to spend so much time doing it and the next thing is when you go back to the top of floor for example like I'm gonna go now to floor 40 I think I'll have all my full ultimate skill ready then I can go on hard mode and maybe the hard mode the next one and this is very important as well what you guys want to do for digital training is you want to buy attack the first thing is very important is you have attack <coughs> attack is number one number two is critical and number three is lifesteal obviously you need defense as well so that would come under number four but for block there's no point buying block rate like you have here all digital block plus eight there is no point buying that and also you want to buy these small ones for example like defense plus three which is five stars you want to buy these so we have here attack attack I just hope I can get more attack you see this kind of tricky I don't like this oh my god hmm I mean I have a lot of points right now I mean a lot of stars so reflect can't hurt to spend some stars on it and then here if you guys have diamonds you can open chest now with this update is very easy to open chests especially once you skip of course and oh, an awesome so we got orange scrolls and trial coins you can open more if you wanted to you can see here how much diamonds you'll cost but wow that's been open 10 times that's a lot of diamonds so this I'm gonna click on next 
and skip. And here, if you really wanted to, you can take out your healer and put an attack Digimon, which will be a lot easier for battle. You can kill them probably all in one turn. So I'm going to go with hard mode. And if you look at my attack right now, it's a little bit low. So I might struggle with this. And critical is 11%, but let's try it. If I struggle, I'll do something about it. <coughs> let's go on manual mode. Always manual mode here. So you want to take out Andromon and Wergarurumon first. Okay, so I made a mistake. I should use Tamon first. So whichever Tamon silence, then you can work your way around there. So nobody. I'm going to quit. Go back. Whenever you're stuck in digital training, you want to quit and go back. And for example, if you use a silence Digimon and it doesn't silence that Digimon, just go back, start again until that Digimon gets silenced, like I'm doing right now. It might take a little bit of time, but we'll get there eventually. <clears throat> okay, that's better. Now we're going to attack a Reapermon. Alright, awesome. Okay. So I hope you can take out for a silence. No. So, for example, what I just did now is I attack where Garurumon, in this case, um, what's the name, Metal Kabuterimon can't use the ultimate skill. So now we can take out Metal Kabuterimon. Oh crap, this die, oh my god, look at that defense, look at that defense on that damn Digimon. Oh my god, in a way I hate this Digimon, but it's a good Digimon still. No, I don't know what to do, because if I use Silphimon, this Andromon is going to attack me. And Garuma is going to attack me as well. So I might as well fucking restart right now. Because if he's going to kill me, oh, he's going to kill me. Oh, oh damn right, he's going to kill me. So let's go back and restart. So this, this, this is why attack is very important. Because if you don't get if you don't get strong attack, then this, you're really screwed. You have to go on easy mode all the way as far as you can. Now oh, this is a lot better. So now we take out this one here. Or actually no, because you want the healer you want to attack the healer on the last go, because you can build up your fury for the next round. While the healer is it's not going to attack you, it's just going to keep using ultimate skill over and over again to heal itself. So you're actually you're fine. You should always aim to attack the healer for the last round oh my god he doesn't die <clears throat> okay so let's see what we can do about no commentary i'm taking it out first Look how, look how strong his defense is, man. Oh my god. So, Reapermon is gonna... Oh crap, he's gonna use his ultimate skill now. Because obviously I won't be able to kill him, because I've got no attack. Yep, definitely. But it's a lot better having Wargarurumon to use his attack. Now, in this turn, I'm going to go with use this back Digimon. Let's go with Rise Greymon. And then 
you want to save your ultimate skills like uh, Talmon and Metal Greymon because as I said about uh, the healer who's a Furymon it's not really important to kill her right now because you want to build your fury up for the next round look this, this one is just gonna heal herself that's it and if you have a uh, some, some, uh, Lilamon basically you can just destroy her healing when her skill becomes available Oh, this is not good. I've got about a debuff of uh, a Reefmon. If he kills, me. oh my god, <laughs> so close. So now we're gonna use this Digimon, and I think we're probably gonna kill her now. Oh yeah, she's gonna die. Ah, oh, this sucks. Okay. Now I hope this. Okay, it's not buff time. Alright, so I'm gonna skip forward to the buff. Haha, <laughs> look at what Tamon just did. Silence all five Digimon. <laughs> My lucky day. Okay, so we just finished this one and we're going to buy the buff and I hope this attack. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay, guys, I've got 195 stars. Okay, 190 stars and I have literally. 20% attack which is not good so in this case what you want to do I mean it's not gonna work because like I had I was struggling to do this flipping hard mode so uh, I'm gonna go on easy mode now obviously my Digimon have low health as you can see so we're gonna go on easy mode because at the end of the day you guys want the points I mean the trial coins if you want to like to get more of these points here you can always go with hard mode and risk it but if you don't if you risk it and you want to get like you don't get enough to complete that ch that floor then you're stuck but if you go on low points and you can go all the way to floor 60 then all them low points are going to add up to even higher than what you're trying to achieve which in, in a way you're going to be stuck there and if you go low points you can always get the rewards from the boxes and the trial coins so go for easy mode oh yeah thank you by the way subscribe to my channel guys if uh, any of these uh, tips help you like this guy just did. Thank you very much. <laughs> I need more subscribers. Okay, oh my god, one silence. This is that's restart. Better, this is a lot better. Now I can work my way around here. And in this case, you can attack the middle Digimon. Let's get rid of Kandagarurumon. Oh crap, ooh, ooh, so, that's so lucky. Okay, this is gonna be an easy one. And we did it, and okay. So, I'm gonna skip forward again to the next buff, which is gonna be a floor 51, I think. No, 52, okay, let's skip forward to there. Okay, so here we are, I barely made it, this after a few tries, and we have critical, critical, and defense, and I am fucked. Let's look, I'm going to floor 60 right now, everyone. Oh my god, 134 stars remaining. There is no way I'm going to floor 60. I mean, look at this. Look at my Digimon health. Wow. I think I'm, I'm probably going to give up right here. Or maybe not. But anyway. That's the struggle of digital training sometimes. And the worst thing is... It's uh, an event for Digital Train right now. You see, not even critical. The fuck is all this about?
Hmm, who do we attack now? Let's go with this. Oh, it's Greymon. I'm at floor 57 right now, guys, and I'm kind of struggling with this one. So this is why you need attack is the first main thing. Okay, so next, for the next tip now. Okay, next tip. Uh, well, as I mentioned earlier, mystery shop. Now, we can claim our vitality here. So dinner vitality is ready. And our shop should have, her, should have reset right now. So, yeah, it's reset. We can buy this stuff. Oh my god, it's just taking so long to connect. Let's buy all these. Buy that. And we're gonna go. Oh, yeah, and let's get a fame shop too. Having a little bit of trouble connecting now. And then we're gonna go back here and go into normal stage or elite stage, whichever one you want. You need to waste like 120 vitality or 240. I think roughly about that. Let's say 20, that's 36 there. And 10, 36, and 36 here. And what else? Let's go with normal stage. Precious ones and oh, it's not working. Maybe it needs to be a little more time to refresh. Hmm, strange. Let's purchase one more. Let's see. Maybe it'll work this time, or maybe it won't. It's not working. Hooray! I think it needs more time to refresh for the mystery shop. Let's claim these now. Oh, the shop. Oh, here we go. We have a shop. We're at the shop now, and we can claim our rewards here. Okay, so 80% off, which I don't have gold right now. Here we go. Gold touch helps a lot. And there we have mystery shop done. That's how you get mystery shop to work. Tip number 21. Now, I have here with guild damage instance. And... I did this last night and this will be on the previous video that I did and here because we defeated the bosses we can claim extra rewards it's 500 guild coins just for that night and again and 600 guild coins okay now if we do the same again to the guild guild instance here which I did already and we just have to claim our rewards from the previous ones so tomorrow we're going to get the same again, guild the damage instances again. And there's going to be a lot of uh, guild coins for everyone. And look at all these, look at all these rewards. And there we have. Okay, hope you all enjoyed your...